so welcome back now the first thing here is the fabric so i'm this is the right um the right side of this um, fabric but i'll be working with the uh, the wrong side so the first thing i'm going to do right now is to fold this i will be cutting the down part because the down part has to be flay so i will be cutting the down part now the full length of this gown is 50 inches now to cut the down part like i said i'm going to fold this fabric diagonally diagonally in this way can you see this tip this tip then i match it i fold it like this making sure that this tip matches the other can you see so this is the diagonal folding Just like you want to tie your scarf. Can you see? So you can see what I have. So this is how I'm going to have place it. So right now. Now I'm going to measure. Now I will be starting from the waist neckline. I mean the waist side conference. Now. The waist side conference for this particular one is uh, 34. Now, 34 divided by 4 gives me 8.5. So, plus 1 inch extra. So, I will be having 9, nine and a half inches. So, from this tip, I place my rule like so. I'm going to measure 12, 12 inches downward. I have my 12 inches here. Can you see? Downward. So I mark it. Then the other side here, I also place it exactly. I also mark 12 inches. So I have it here. So right now, I'm going to connect this line. Can you see I've connected the lines so right now by the time I measure so I have my 9.5 inches here can you see it gives me 9.5 inches so it's okay by me including the seam allowance so to measure the length so I told you that the the full length of this gown is 50 inches now the half length is 16 when I subtract 16 from 50, I will be having 34 inches. So right now, I'm going to measure. I will first measure the hip line first. So from this point, I will be measuring 8 inches downward. So I mark. Then also this side, I mark 8 inches downward. So I mark. So this is... I connect this line so this line is going to be is my hip line so right now So measure the hip side conference. I have the hip side conference for this to be 44. 44 divided by 4 will give me 11. So I'm going to measure from here. I place my rule right from here. So this is uh, the slash part. This is um, this is joined already. So I measure 11 inches, and I have my 11 inches here. here then plus one inch for the seam allowance so i have it here so i'm going to place my rule here then i make sure it touches where i stop on the hip line then i bring it downward to measure the length for the down which is 34 inches let me shift it so that you can see. 
So I have my 34 inches here. Can you see here? So plus one inch or one and a half inch downward plus 1.5 downward. So I have the total of 35.5 down uh, inches. So I'm going to connect this line straight to this point. So can you see I've connected the line? So so I'm going to come up here just by one inch. I come up by one inch. So I also place my rule here. I measure thirty five point five inches. I have my 35.5 inches here. That is plus one inch for the seam allowance. So from the base, I can now connect from this point to this place. I connect first. So this one inch here, I'm going to Curve it a bit, just a bit to match here. So, this is the front part of the down, the, the down, the front part. I haven't cut this. After cutting out this, I'm going to use this to cut out the back. But that of the back, I'm going to leave one in because it's going to have a zipper. So. So I'm going to cut right now. Can you see? So I'm not cutting from this one because of the core. So that's where I started the core. So I can now cut the upper part. So I'm going to cut it, then I come back. Now, as you can see, I've cut the, the back one. This is the front one. I've used this front one to cut the back piece. And you can see the this zipper allowance, like one inch left. So that's where my, body, I mean, my zipper is going to sit. So I'm done with cutting uh, the down part of this gown. At the base, can you see? So right now, I'm going to go into cutting the top of this uh, gown. So the next thing is to cut the top of this gown. Now, as you can see this line, this line is my shoulder line. So then you have the down part. You see this line? This line is the hammo line. Now I have it here. From that shoulder line, what I have, I have... 9.5 inches 9.5 inches so now for the this one is the bust line now in between between the show i mean the ammo line and uh, the bust line i have just 1.5 inches now the down part here the last line here is my waist why this remaining one 0 0.5 is for the seam allowance at the waist circumference so right now i'm going to start the measurement now the shoulder line the shoulder is 16 inches and 16 divided by 2 gives me 8 inches so i place my rule right here not here because this one is just for the button i mean the zipper seat so I'm going to place it right here. Then I measure my 8 inches for the shoulder line. Plus 
plus less than 0 0.5 inch. So right now, on this second line is where I'm going to place my rule. Now, I'm going to mark 0 0.5 downward for my shoulder slope. Then, then from this point, you can see it's 9 inches. Now, the bust 40 inches, uh, that is bust circumference, 40 inches divided by 4, I have 10 minus 1. So, I have 9. So, right now, I'm going to connect this line to meet this. But before then, whatever I have here, I'm going to bring it down. Now, here, I have 8 inches. Here I have 8.5 inches, so I'm going to measure here. So instead of me marking 8.5 inches, I will just resort to marking 8 inches on the shoulder line. So which means I'm going to connect this first line to this line. So this is my ammo line. Now, the 0 0.5 inch, I'm going to give a mark because that is going to be for my shoulder slope. So right now, I go quickly to the neck. The neck, I will be marking 3, inch, three inches. As you can see, I place the rule right here. 3 inches, I have my 3 inches here. Now, the depth of the neck, I will be marking... 4.5 inches for the depth, that is for the front depth neckline, 4.5 inches. So I'm going to measure 3 inches to match what I have here. I have my 3 inches here. So I'm going to connect this line to this line. That is for the front the front, the depth of the front neckline. So right now, I'm going to connect this to this place. Now I have 4.5 inches here, so I'm going to place it also here to mark 4.5 inches so that I will achieve a straight line at the bottom. So right now, I connect this line. So coming to the back, the back depth, I will be marking 2 inches as the depth of the back neckline. I come here, I mark, sorry, I place it here because the back will have to extend to the zipper. So for the back, this is where I'm going to place my rule. Then I mark 2 inches. So I'm going to connect this to this. So right now, just make a slight curve. Or you can just measure from here. You just measure, measure like one inch. So that's where you are going to start the curve like that to meet the edge here, and this one will meet the edge, edge here. So right now, for the um, the curve for the front neckline, I will just measure one inch. Then I connect. So I connect. So what I'm going to do, what I ought to do here is to measure from here to here. I have four and a half inches, so I'm going to measure from here to here, two inch. So it is from here, that two inch, that I start the curve for the front uh, neckline, okay, to give me a perfect shape. So right now, 
haven't done with this so i move on to the slope i connect this this point to the last place here So this is my shoulder slope. So right now, I go back to the bodies. Right now, I'm going to make a side conference. Now, this is the bust line. On the bust line, I place my rule. Now I start. I, I said the bust is uh, 40 inches divided by 4. I have 10 inches. So I'm going to add extra three inches for both the seam allowance and the joining because it's going to be a princess bust here. Now I'm going to place my rule right here. Now the uh, the the chest or the breast pan is seven point five inches. So seven point five inches divided by two, I have less than four inch, inches. So I'm going to just add some little, um, some little number to it. So I will be marking from here to here, I will be marking 4.5 inches or less than 4.5 inches or let me say four three quarter inches. So I mark four three quarter inches. So exactly what I have here, I place it here. Four point three quarter inches. You can see where I place it on the shoulder line. I mean, on the arm line. So I'm going to connect this line together. So you remember I've measured the side conference, the both side conference. Now I go to to the waist. Now the waist is 34 inches. 34 divided by 8 gives me 8.5 inches. So I mark my 8.5 inches. Now I'm going to add first 1.5 inches plus 3.5, I mean 3 inches as I have it on the bust line. So right now, I'm going to measure from the ammo line, I have uh, 9 inches. Now half of 9 inches, I have 4.5. I'm going to mark 4.5 here. So the length of the breast pan for this is 10.5 inches. 10.5. So... I have my 10.5 here. So right now I'm going to connect. So I'm going to connect this line like this. Okay. Then I come down by one inch. From this point, I come down by one inch or one three quarter inch. Then this place from this point here on the waistline, I'm going to I measure 1.5 inch. Okay, so right now, just watch me. So I'm going to connect this line like this to this, like this. Then I finally come like this to give me the breast shape. So if you cannot use your free hand, you use your, your curve material to do that. So you can see the shape. So all you need to do is just to connect this line to this, after this, to the one point, uh, one three quarter, then finally to this 1.5. So right now, the first thing I'm going to do, now the normal one for the back, for the back, I'm just going to make it like this. 
for the back is going to come like this then straight to this one that will be for the back so when i want to cut i'm going to cut from this first like the normal princess that after which i come back to the front to this one which is going to be for the front so right now i'm going to connect these lines together but before i do that whatever i have on the bust line i transfer it to the ammo line so i place my rule on the ammo line on the bust line first to know what i, I have 10 so i'm going to transfer this thing to this place then after that the seam allowance and all that adjoining is three inches so i'm going to measure three inches so it's just like transferring so right now this is the ammo line is nine and a half this is the half so from here i'm going to make it the curve for the ammo so i make the curve for the ammo so right now here I'm going to extend this place by two inches or two three quarter inches because of the down part so that whenever I'm whenever I'm uh, joining it won't be shorter so I'm just make it like that so what I'm going to do right now is to cut so like i said i say i'm going to cut from here first like this okay then i start so if you look at it you see that the two two three quarter inch which i had to the to this uh, side the side of the top i've extended it to this side so that by the time i'm cutting I will be mindful of this same space here very very important now i finally connected the bust on the ammo to the bust and to the waist line so right now i'm going to do the cutting so Now, then the, the slope. So I will make sure I add like five inch for the seam allowance. Sorry, for the seam allowance of the shoulder. Then even for the neck. For the neck here i'm going to have this is for the back like 0 0.5 okay so that by the time i begin to sew i'm going to sew here so that this one will be for the seam allowance so right now instead of me cutting here i'm going to cut from here So 
So by the time I sew like this, it will still come to my two. You know, I made it two inches. It will come to it. So right now, I'm going to remove this. This is the front and this is the back. So I keep this back aside. Then the back. I keep it aside. Then I'm going to work with the front right now. So I'm going to cut the the neckline for the front. So this is for the front. Then this one, I'm going to reshape this. That is for the front. So if some if it is somebody that has a very bustier chest, you can make it two inches instead of one point five. So, but this one is has just a moderate one. So right now, I'm done with this. Then in the front here, I'm going to place um something like a placket here. It's just for me to cut like a four inches for the width of that. That will be another material. Then I fold it into two. That will, when I fold it into two, it gives me two. I'm going to show it to you when I am done with that. So right now is to use this, what I have here, to cut the facing. So I will be using, this is my facing. So I'm going to place this on, on top of this and cut it out in pieces like i have it like this so coming back to the front so this front is going to be of two uh, color now i'm going to place my rule right on the tip of the shoulder line can you see so here i'm going to measure 8.5 inches then I come to the other side of it. I place it on exact place, 8.5 inches. Can you see? So right now, I'm going to place it like so. Then in between it, I mark it to give me the same line with this. So which means this one stands for the mid, the mid part. So right now, I'm going to connect this line like so in a curve shape to this edge, then also here to this edge. So I can use my free hand like so. Then here too, I connect. So it's going to give me this shape. So right now I'm going to measure 0.5 inch inward. That's going to be for the seam allowance of this. 0.5 inch. So 0.5 inch or two. 0.5 inch. 0.5 so so this one i won't put any any um i won't place the tape i won't reduce this part i'll just make sure this on the same um dot on me, the same point of this just to connect it to this side so that here can be the same allowance so I'm going to connect like this. 
I also connect this to this like this. Sorry, bear with me using a free hand. So right now, I'm going to cut this. I will trace it on this line, not on this second line, no, on this line. Then I cut this off. So by the time I cut this off, I will use a, this particular one to cut out whichever material I want to place on to replace this. So, So you can see now the length of this one is will be giving me eight inches now you know initially it was 8.5 now that i've reduced it by five so i have eight so by the time i cut this i'm going to increase the length of this by one so instead of me cutting the length of this to be eight it's going to be nine so to replace it back So like I said, I said I'm going to use this to cut another material. So I will be using black material. Now the other time I said that you should not I extend the 0 0.5 to this place. This is a, is, a, is a mistake. You extend it. So of which I've done it. So right now I'm going to place it flat on this same this. So, I'm going to measure one inch downward. So, I go all around one inch downward from one edge to the other, one inch downward, one inch. one inch this is just to replace the shortage because if i don't add this it's going to short so this is how i'm going to go till i get to the other edge on my left hand side here so one inch and so i'm going to connect these lines then I trace it up to this place. Okay. So if you see that it's shaking, you can use your pin to hold it. Then I also use my chalk to connect. Then I do likewise also here, straight. Then I connect to this side. Then with the shape on the neckline, everything. So I do it like so. So it is after this, then I start the cutting. Now, as you can see, I've cut it out. You can see the exact shape which I have on this. I've used it to cut this. Now, the stripe I was telling, I was talking about. This is the stripe. Uh, the width is four inches. When I fold it into two, I'll fold it, turn it to the right to the right. Then I sew it downward. After which. I will now place it on this as a stripe in between this. Okay. Now for the back, this is the back piece. I've cut the, the facing for the back. And also this one, I've also cut, this is for the back too. I've cut the facing. And that is what I, I also did for the front 
so right now now for this back i'm going to reshape it again so that at the end the the the, the back i won't have any bump so now i'm going to measure from this place i will be measuring one inch inward so i place my room here i measure one inch i place it here measure one inch here one inch then till i get to the down part one inch so i'm going to connect these lines together i can also use my free hand so i connect down to this part here so i'm going to cut this off So, including the, the facing, I cut it at the same time. The essence of this is, like I just said, it's that so that I will not have any bone at the back. So, Coming to here, I'm going to shape it inward with 0 0.5 inch. So I'm going to place my roll. So I measure 0 0.5. So I won't get to this point. So just slightly like this. Then also here, 0 0.5. So I just connect these lines together. So, I'm, I'm, so I cut this part off. so that is that for the back now i can now slit this to give me two pieces that is the facing. So, having completed this, so I can now move to this. It's going to, this is the interface. I'm going to use this just for the front part alone. Now, this is the glossy part. And this, after cutting it out, I'm going to place this glossy part on the lining or on the facing. Then I iron to gum it together, after which I start the cutting. So far, so good. I've come to the conclusion of this tutorial. Can you see the top of this gown? Can you see? So supposing there is money queen here, you see that the um, the bustier will shoot out. So that is that, and this is the down part. It's a flare. And you see. So I really want to appreciate you for taking your time to watch this uh, video. Thank you very very much. So don't forget to like this video, and you can also share it out. Thank you very much. So, till I come your way again, bye for now.